So good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining me in today's Voxy uh, EM introduction. This is an introduction to the quasi 1D inversion of frequency domain EM data. This presentation will provide an overview of Voxy and its new EM capabilities. We will also present the application of Voxy EM to a VMS deposit in the Dominican Republic and to a kimberlite pipe in the Canadian Arctic. Geosoft created Voxy Earth Modeling in 2012 to help geoscientists create 3D models from their geophysical data using a powerful cloud-based inversion service. Voxy is fully integrated into Oasis Montage, Geosoft's core platform for exploration using geology, geophysics, and geochemistry. The speed of a high-performance cluster accessed on demand and in the cloud uh, enables rapid iteration and collaboration. The cloud is powered by Microsoft Azure and features the latest technological advancements in computing power and data security. Combined with key innovations in inversion technology by Geosoft, Voxy enables collaboration within the exploration team. Geologists, geochemists, and geophysicists now have a common place to merge their data sets and create integrated 3D models. Voxy is powered by advanced innovations in inversion including magnetization vector inversion, which uses magnetic field observations to determine the distribution of subsurface magnetization. It takes into account effects due to remnant magnetization and anisotropy. In a wide variety of geological situations, this is far more applicable than conventional susceptibility modeling and yields results that correlate better to known structure. Cartesian cut cell mesh geometry when compared to regular mesh geometry and other inversion algorithms, allows for a far better representation of topography. It removes the noise from terrain in your models and allows you to better identify the location of possible targets. Iterative reweighting inversion is a simple method that allows you to refine the structure of your geophysical inversion with minimal effort. It focuses your inversion results and has been shown to model geophysical contacts more accurately. Voxy also allows for density modeling using the entire multi-channel gravity gradiometer data set. There is no need to combine the channels into one component at the risk of losing information that was expensive to collect. And newly added to Voxy, you can now create 3D conductivity models of frequency domain EM data. This first version of Voxy EM supports horizontal coplanar frequency domain EM data such as that acquired by Digim or similar surveys. Voxy EM creates 3D conductivity models from fast 1D inversion and 3D interpolation. Conductivity modeling is added to the already existing gravity and magnetic modeling capabilities of Voxy, which is integrated with OASIS Montage. The benefit of the Quasi 1D method is an intuitive model that can be easily integrated, compared, and importantly constrained with other 3D information, but with the proven speed and effectiveness of a 1D inversion. Here we see a typical Digim survey uh, consisting of data acquired at three frequencies, uh, 900 hertz, 7200 hertz, and 56 kilohertz. You have the in-phase component on the left and the quadrature component on the right. Voxy EM takes this data and produces a 3D conductivity model which can be used to guide further exploration and interpretation. I will now present a brief presentation of inversion with Voxy EM using frequency domain data acquired over the Cerro de Maimon copper gold mine in the Dominican Republic. The deposit is a typical volcanic hosted exaltive massive sulfide body. The Digim data was kindly provided by CGG and the deposit itself is a sheet-like structure shown in red. And the top is approximately 30 meters below the surface. And the sheet dips about 40 degrees to the southwest. The thickest part of the deposit here is about 75 meters deep. And the orientation of the deposit is shown in black here relative to the survey lines. So you can see that the deposit is oriented roughly perpendicular to the survey. Uh, I'll just switch over to Oasis Montage. So just give me a moment. Okay. 
Here we can see the DIGIM data. You have the in-phase components on the left, the quadrature components on the right. They've been gridded up. On the right-hand side here is a map of the digital elevation model as well as the survey location. And this is enclosed by a polygon that defines the area of interest for our inversion. The data itself is contained in a database. Uh, here you can see we have the, uh, the location information of the survey, the altimeter location of the bird, of the EM bird, and the, uh, the different in-phase and quadrature components. We then create a new Voxy project, and we'll give this project a name. Define it with our area of interest polygon in red over here. And define the top of our mesh geometry with the digital elevation model uh, from this grid shown on the right. You can now set up a default mesh for your potential field or your EM surveys. When you select the EM option, it automatically creates a mesh that is very thin at the surface. And it gives you good depth resolution uh, near the top of your model. We'll click OK, and a new Voxy document has been created. You can see the digital elevation model here and our mesh. Using the Voxy uh, interface, we'll now add data to this inversion from a database. The location information, the x and y coordinates, have automatically been populated. And we're going to define our sensor elevation uh, using a channel in our database. For those of you familiar with Voxy, this will look uh, uh, much the same as our potential field inversions. And for those of you new to Voxy, uh, this option here to optimize data sampling effectively desamples and anti-aliases your data set so that it uh, inverts more efficiently in the cloud. You'll see here that we are creating a conductivity model and we're using a DIGIM survey. Uh, we also have the defaults for a resolve system. And you can uh, create a custom survey by inputting your own coil frequency orientation and separation. You'll see our different frequencies along here. The 900 hertz frequency, um, we have an in-phase channel in the database as well as a quadrature channel. We've defined our, er our error. And the default uses a 10% fraction with a floor of 5%. Uh, PPM. We found that for most data sets, this is very effective. However, if you have particularly clean data, you can feel free to reduce or otherwise manipulate your error tolerances. We also have coaxial um, frequency data that is not used in this particular inversion. And you can see our 72 uh, hertz and our 56 kilohertz data as well. Before you wrap up, You'll be provided with a brief summary, a statistical summary of your data. And when you click Finish, this data is now added into your inversion project. You'll see the sample locations here. And you can display grids of your different frequency components. If you have information that you'd like to use to constrain your inversion, one of the benefits of the quasi-1D method in uh, Voxy is that you can input your constraints as 3D models. This allows you to easily bring in geological constraints from other platforms or other geophysical models as three-dimensional voxels rather than individual files for each observation point. All that's left is then clicking the Run button. And when you do that, you'll be asked to sign in with your Geosoft ID. The inversion will be uploaded into the cloud. And for this particular inversion, uh, the cell size or the uh, mesh size is about 50 by 50. It's returned in approximately eight to nine, eight to nine minutes. Uh, when it's uploaded into the cloud, it's encrypted, and all the location information is stripped from your project. So it's securely sent. Once the inversion is complete, it is downloaded back into onto your computer. So to run these sophisticated models, all you need is a reasonable broadband internet connection. Even tethering to your cell phone works in most locations. And uh, a computer that doesn't have to be any more powerful than this uh, laptop here. I have a result um, that has already been returned.
This here is a voxel of our 3D conductivity that was returned by the Voxy inversion service. You can clip these uh, models um, spatially or by um, threshold. You can threshold the connectivity. So you can take this 3D model. You can now compare it to other, uh, uh, other 3D models from your geological data or other geophysical data. You can create sections, such as this one here. And in this section, I've just pointed out that Voxy EM was able to recover the depth of the conductor quite well um, at the 75 meters that was anticipated from the drill hole sections. I'll now jump back into my PowerPoint, where I'll present another example of where Voxy EM was uh, put to use. So this particular example here is from a Kimberlite in the Northwest Territories where um, Digim data was acquired over the Kimberlite and is shown on the six panels over here. The upper row shows the in-phase data and the, the lower row shows the quadrature response. The flight line spacing for this particular survey was approximately 100 meters and the survey clearance was around 20 meters. As with many Kimberlites in the Northwest Territories, this particular one lies underneath a lake. Following the steps I've outlined previously, we've set up our, our Voxy EM inversion and added the frequency domain data. After pressing the run button, the inversion was sent into the cloud, and around eight to 10 minutes later, the conductivity model shown above was returned to the computer. In the recovered results, we see a clear conductivity target flanked by a resistive region and a weakly conductive zone. For this example, we are fortunate enough to have other data to compare the result against. And in this slide, we see a composite of the 3D conductivity model together with a kimberlite shell derived from drilling, as well as the lake bottom from bathymetry. You can see that Voxy EM has accurately located the top of the kimberlite, and it lies correctly underneath the lake bottom. This is a good validation of the depth res resolution provided by Voxy EM. And as is to be expected from a 1D inversion, the vertical orientation of this conductive target results in some predictable artifacts flanking the main conductor. The result of the EM inversion was a rapid calculation of a 3D conductivity model that is consistent with the observed airborne data as well as the known surrounding geology. The 3D model born from a quasi 1D inversion was easily integrated within OASIS Montage to compare against other 3D models and further and can be further constrained uh, with 3D structural and rock property information. All of the work presented was created using Geosoft's OASIS Montage and Voxy Earth Modeling. With OASIS Montage platform and the advanced speed and capabilities of Voxy it is now easier uh, to take an integrated approach to 3D modeling. And within this one platform, you can gather all of your data and answer important modeling questions. You can rapidly test and iterate these models, making changes quickly and intelligently using the rest of your exploration team. For more information on how to access Voxy, please speak to anybody at the Geosoft booth, or please visit our website at www.geosoft.com. Thank you for your time, and please return to the booth at 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. to hear how some of our customers are using Geosoft in their exploration uh, situation. Thank you for your time.